Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Black heart, black at it again. Um, asking you to hit that share button first because that benefits us and the message is more important than the messenger. Thank you to those who hit the like and the subscribe buttons. Um, but especially to those who hit share. Uh, yesterday, I got 238 views and I haven't had the video up for a full 24 hours yet. And the very last one I put up. Um, I saw a guy named Dan Bacon. And um, I just happened, I stumbled upon him accidentally. Pure, I'd say pure coincidences. Um, he recorded something probably three years ago about what to say to a woman to make them attracted to you. So I thought, okay, well... Let's see what he says. Because um, he's, you know, dating coach, pickup artist. And he said, well, he said two things that are very important to make you understand the game behind the game. And that's why I titled this as I did. One of the things he said was women can be attracted to men for multiple reasons. Remember this because... Uh, this is going to factor into what I'm going to tell you next. Women can be attracted to men for multiple reasons. That is true. Naturally. Then the other thing he said was very attractive women uh, have men approaching them all the time, not knowing how to act and that they may find one guy in a year that, that knows how to attract them or just manages to do it. Okay, now, the game behind the game is that women can be attracted to men for multiple, for multiple reasons. They can be unattracted to men for multiple reasons. So that's the game. That's half the game behind the game. The thing to understand about the Western woman is that the Western woman, like any woman, naturally can be attracted to a man for multiple reasons. However... The Western woman, black and white alike, is subject to the peer pressure of her friends to uh, be difficult on men that don't make the, that don't meet her friends' standards. So you have to impress her, and you have to impress her friends, even when her friends are not there to judge you. They have the same mind. They learn and they get socialized with the same standards. And shame and embarrassment are important tools in this. They can apply these things to each other very easily. That works on them, and this is a reason that they can uh, develop a hive mind. So just as shame can be the reason that they don't just run off with uh, the first and worst nigger around, shame can also be the reason that they will not even give a shot to the best one even when they like him. This is the game behind the game. And it is not your job to impress absent people that you've never met in order for you to have a shot at being with somebody. Now there is the, the other half of the game behind the game. You are not required to impress people that have, that have not, they're not around you at the time and you never met them and they never saw you in order for you to have a shot at being with this one woman. This is one of the reasons why you may need to jet and bounce. Because you see, the, all this talk about game that you don't have, brothers, um, could be true and it's not wrong if you know how to it's wrong it's not wrong if you know game and you understand it but you have to keep in mind that game literally means game a competition of sorts some sort of entertainment it can also imply deception it doesn't literally mean deception but it implies deception and you have to keep in mind that the reason why women will co-sign the use of the word game and talk about you don't have it is because they're pretty much saying to you, deceive me into warning you. And the other thing, too, is this. You are not required. It's not your job to accept celibacy as a reward for anything. Certainly as a reward for being honest and not being deceptive. Now, I'm not saying you may never have to be celibate. 
But I'm saying that that's that you're not. It, it's not your job to accept that as a reward from women for something that you've done. That can't be a reward. It's the opposite of a reward. That's the end of it. The game behind the game is exactly that. You are being asked to play an unnatural game in the West. It's okay for you to know game, to have the ability, but to play it is an acceptance of them saying that it is your job to impress absent people you never met and that never met you for you to have a shot at the one that you are meeting. And why am I recording this as a practicing Muslim? Well, because gentlemen, if you are a Muslim man in the West, many of the Muslim women you will see are Western Muslim women, and they are not guaranteed to shake off that mindset. They should, but they're not guaranteed. They're subject to shame just like anyone else. And that Eastern Muslim woman's shame at running off with the first and worst man can also be the Western woman's reason that she would not give you a shot if you made the cut. If she's attracted to you for a specific reason and you're a good dude. There is that. You have to keep this in mind, gentlemen. And this may be why it is that you got to get that passport if what you're looking to do is have a family one day. And I'm not knocking men for one and a half families. But if you want to do that, you got to get that passport and you got to fit the guck out or smuggle yourself out if you can't get a passport. But you simply cannot. You just cannot afford to stay there in the West and they know that you are a captive audience. Because in the West, they know you cannot cheat without repercussions and you cannot legally marry somebody else. And that is the worst position uh, in which a man can be when a woman's looking at him. Absolute worst. Even a woman that'll try to make sure you never cheat and can't tolerate it, still can't respect you if you don't have the ability to cheat. That's still gonna be a problem. She could turn around and I mean, a woman may cut your nuts off to make sure that you don't cheat. Guess what? You don't have any nuts, she loses respect for you. It, it, that's, that's the point I'm getting at. You are being asked to play a very unnatural and very unfair game. And that, no, knowing that is the game behind the game. That's the ultimate game. You're never going to have game like women have. That's the, that's the first thing and the last thing that we must understand. We did not invent game. We're trying to learn it. And when you finally learn it enough to where they feel justified in being seen out with you in front of their friends and even in front of women they don't know, then they come along and they act like you got game when in fact, really they invented the game. They just never told you what the hell it was. And this is one, that right there is justification enough for you to never play it. Even if you decide you want to understand it, you had justified in, in deciding that you will never play it because they didn't even explain it to you. They just came up with it and waited on you to figure it out magically. Now abroad, women may want to do that, they may not, I don't know, but it is understood in any normal culture that if, they, if that's all they do, then yeah, they're gonna lose. <laughs> End of story. They're not gonna find what they're looking for. I hope that what I've said is a benefit. Blackheart, sign of blackout. Assalamu alaikum.